From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Adam Hammond with your morning headlines this Wednesday morning. Breaking overnight, police are looking for a suspect after they say two people were shot in a home in southeast Nashville. Now, this all happened on Wimpole Drive. Police say they found a man killed and another woman injured inside this house. That woman was transported to Vanderbilt Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. And we're going to keep you updated on this ongoing investigation. And new information in a deadly Christmas Day shooting. Police identified that victim as 18 year old Elijah Williams. 19 year old Monterius Bean admitted to shooting Williams yesterday. He says Williams kicked in the door of the home on Creekview near Clearwater Drive where this happened and acted in a threatening manner. Williams is the father of Bean's niece, but neither were there. Bean says he shot Williams out of concern. Williams was getting a weapon. The district attorney will have the final say on if any charges will be filed. Well, sadly, or good news, because you get another chance. No one matched the lucky numbers last night. The Mega Millions drawing pulled 2, 8, 42, 43, 50, and the Mega Ball 6. Now, that was uh, for a chance to win $321 million in that jackpot, which is the largest ever available on Christmas. But you will get another chance to win the big uh, win big at the next drawing, which is coming up on Friday. Now, let's get a check on our forecast this morning with Heather. Well, Adam, we're on a warming trend starting today. Temperatures expected to soar into the upper 50s during the afternoon. It's only going to get warmer from there. Looking at our extended period, 58 for a high today. Tomorrow, showers with a chance of a few thunderstorms during the afternoon. Highs in the upper 60s, lower 60s on Friday as those rain showers start to wrap up. We are dry Friday afternoon and Saturday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Heather Mathis. Have a great rest of your Wednesday.